What's the crack lads? Welcome back to a short and sweet training guide video. We've already done the review of the Showtime players. We are going to be focusing on, in this video, Mbappe, right? I think probably the best pound-for-pound -pound center forward in the game. That is a non-legend or a non-epic. But this Showtime card, lads, is absolutely insanely stacked, right? So we're going to show you two versions of him. Um, and then we're going to show you how he kind of stacks up to uh, an alternative, a GP alternative in the game, who I really, really think is a fantastic option, right? So firstly, we are going to show you his maxed out rating and just do a bit of a guide on that um, because we've already done the review. If you want to check that out, you can check it out. This is kind of the best version, I would say, of Mbappe, right? This is my build of him. Um, and this is what I think you should go with. Now, there's a couple of talking points in here that I think you can balance this card way better um, with just a few key additional changes to it, right? And a bit of variety. So the first one is finishing. I personally don't think you need finishing above 88, ever, like ever. If you're using Mbappe as a run and gun center forward and you're not using him as a slow base target man, you genuinely do not need this finishing stat over 88. Like I, I, I... I, I genuinely don't see how, um, you know, you, you will be able to miss a lot of shots with this. With the form arrow, because he's got unwavering form, you're only going to be pretty much playing Mbappe, um, you know, when he's up on form. So when he gets the boost to that, he's still going to have it over 90. Now, personally speaking, because of the way the stats break down, I potentially would probably give him 89, so that if he is on normal form, you still have that 89 finishing. And when you do get the boost... If you only need to have him on a normal form arrow up, so not the best form arrow. So I would potentially leave it at that. And it would also increase the curl to 77 as well, which, you know, will make a little bit of a difference for your shooting if you're on uh, finesse shooting and you're doing one-on-ones a lot. Now, the other thing I would change is depending on your play style, when we reduce that, I would probably pop one more in to get the ball control to 88. So you've got your finishing at 89, you've got your ball control at 88, and then the rest of the stats are pretty stacked at that. The other thing is the balance. I'm a big fan of Mbappe's balance when it's this high. His standard card does struggle a little bit with that, which is why I think I've struggled with every version of Mbappe. Even this card here, the 85 balance that we have here on this version of him, 86 on that, 84 on that, 83 on that, 84 on that. So every version of Mbappe before um, has pretty much had like weak enough, not weak balance, but comparing him to Romario or one of those epic, epic players, I think having his balance above 88 to get the boost to 90 is a game changer for this card. Now, let me know what you think in the comments below, but I would say that the two main uh, features of this gold poacher play style center forward is not acceleration, it's not speed, it's not ball control or dribbling. It's offensive awareness and balance. And I definitely think, having done a lot of research on it and testing a lot of things out, that that does make the most sense when you do play with him. Now, his standard card, lads, if you have a milli GP and you want to buy him and you don't get this showtime or you just want to stay free to play, free GP to play, whatever, without spinning, um, this guy is, you know, you can train Mbappe up very, very decently. You're obviously going to take a hit on the dribbling, the ball control, the tight possession, and the speed, but the acceleration, the balance, finishing, everything is going to be in around that spot. So I do think that Mbappe is a fantastic option. Um, obviously, with the player form at the moment, that's going to be a big issue. But yeah, if you are getting this guy, I mean, he is a game changer, realistically. I mean, he's one of the best in the game. Like, even for an example of if you're taking a, a an approach of having legends or whatever, the big-timer Mario, right, when you compare uh, Mbappe to him, like the big time Romario is a very similar player when you train him up, right? We're going to completely ignore um, passing and all that sort of stuff. Pace wise, you see the way when you're stacking the acceleration there, you see the stat with the balance there. That's that's the key for these players, these small um, kind of like versatile players that are just like the, the ball just is glued to their feet, right? Even without top, top speed. Like you can see here with this version of Romario to get into that area with the 90 balance, we need to kind of like, we kind of need to ignore the speed and the stamina a little bit, right? That's a bit of an issue with Romario anyway. But every other stat that he has here is just insanely stacked. Like you've got your offensive awareness, 92, your balance, 92, your acceleration, 90, your tight possession and ball control in the 90s, and then you're finishing at the 88. And I personally think Romario is the best player in the game bar none. We also have a GP alternative, right? So if you don't have the money to spend a million on Mbappe, I would definitely um, recommend checking out Moani. This guy was recommended to me by a few people in my live streams. If you ever want to come over and see some tips and tricks 
in real time. The same issue with Moani kind of faces a, is faced by a lot of players that are similar. High acceleration, but low balance. And he's a big bit of a taller player and a deep line forward, but his stats do stack up really well to Mbappe. Obviously, he's not going to have the blister and pace, but he does have everything else that is pretty decent on a budget. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. We will be back quite soon. And that's it for Mbappe.